From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Thursday, February 1st of 2024. I'm Amy Rose. D-Ray Knight is out. This is what's going on. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem says her administration is considering boosting its support for Texas efforts to deter immigration at the U.S.-Mexico border. In a speech to a joint session of the legislature on Wednesday, she mentioned sending more razor wire and exploring legal and personal options for the border security situation. The Republican governor has made several visits to the border in recent years, including last week. She has deployed South Dakota National Guard troops three times to help Texas block immigrants from crossing, including last year. Yesterday morning, legislators began taking testimony on a bill that would remove the state sales tax on food. Kevin Phillips has the details. Yeah, Amy, SB 164 would remove the current 4.2% sales tax on food and reimpose the 0.3% general sales tax cut passed last session on most other goods and services. Proponents say the bill is revenue neutral. The sponsor is Democratic Senator Reynold Nezaba of Sioux Falls. He says he's been working on eliminating the sales tax on food for 20 years. He said his bill gives the legislature control over the sales tax removal rather than having the voters take it into their hands in November. In national and international news, members of the Senate Judiciary Committee extensively questioned and censored the top executives of five major technology companies on Wednesday regarding the potential negative impacts of their products on teenagers. The CEOs of Meta, TikTok, Snap, Discord, and X, formerly known as Twitter, asserted during the hearing that they are committed to enhancing the safety of social media for the youth. The session began emotionally charged at times with apologies offered by two executives. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, in a poignant moment, expressed regret to the families present in the hearing room, stating, I apologize for everything you have all been through. No one should endure the hardships that your families have faced, and that's why we invest so much. We will persist in our industry-wide efforts to ensure that no one has to endure the challenges your families have experienced. The U.S. and at least 13 other countries have withdrawn funding for the primary U.N. aid agency in Gaza. Here's Kevin Phillips with more. The United States and at least 13 other countries have withdrawn funding for the primary U.N. aid agency in Gaza following Israel's allegations that some of its staff were involved in the October 7 attack by Hamas. Israel claims that 13 out of the agency's 13,000 Gaza employees participated in the attack with varying roles such as kidnapping and setting up an operations room. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has called for the termination of the UN mission in the region, urging other aid groups to take its place. However, around 2 million Gazans depend on the agency for assistance, and 1 million rely on its shelters for food and health care during the ongoing conflict in the enclave. The FCC is actively pursuing the prohibition of AI-generated robocalls in the United States. The agencies announced on Wednesday follows a recent incident where a robocall utilizing an AI-generated voice resembling President Joe Biden targeted thousands of New Hampshire voters. Concerns about the potential for artificial intelligence to facilitate the spread of disinformation in the upcoming 2024 election have prompted this regulatory initiative. The FCC highlighted an increasing number of robocalls in recent months, causing confusion among consumers by mimicking the voices of celebrities, political candidates, and close family members. Notably, the data indicates that the peak number of robocalls in the U.S. occurred in 2019 at around 58.5 billion, with a slight decrease to approximately 55 billion last year. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, today sunny with a high around 58. That was your Daily Slice for Thursday, February 1st of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight and Amy Rose, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.